terms of okay. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, Bob, go ahead. Bob, go ahead. I, I, I wasn't. I was absent, but in the top paragraph it says I was present. So we got to remove the present. You were. I was not here. You were an injured reserve. Yeah. Yeah. So second paragraph is right. I was not here. Okay. Yeah, you only attended by phone for yeah, later yeah, on. Yeah, later on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Anything else, Bob? Um, I don't know uh, other than should Dick have recused himself? Dick made a motion, Mr. Coles made a motion to approve the CIDIRAC charter as amended. You're a member of that CIDIRAC. I mean, I don't know if that's... No, I didn't see where there was any personal or financial gain being made okay. in the okay. committee, so I didn't feel there was a conflict there. Okay. And then on the last page, you made a motion, Mr. Cruz made a motion to enter executive session with the town manager. You've got that two or three times. I know we went into executive session without Mike one of those times. Is that, that first? Yeah. Is no. that not there? Um, it says with the town manager. One of those should say without the town manager. Yes, it should. I'm not sure which one. Well, I do know that he was there for the real estate one for <laughs> sure. And I do know it would have been second paragraph. The second, the personnel one. Yeah. No. So we, it's a board only. So that would be the fourth paragraph down on page four. The right. fourth one? Okay was the one for personnel. That's what we discussed. Yeah, that That's what we called Bobby. We talked to him. Right. As he was, the town manager was present for the contracts one. He yep. was present for the real estate one. Yep. So yes, that would be correct, Bob. Thank you. That's all I have. Okay. Mike? We're good. Joe? Uh, well, we've got uh, the yellow paragraph on the second page. Um, I can't be certain of this, but I think I may have made that motion, the, the, the one in yellow. I don't remember who seconded the motion if I made it. My recollection was you made it and Mr. Holden seconded it, but I could be wrong about the second part. Would you gentlemen accept that responsibility? Yes. Sure. Okay. Uh, the Lions Club request, the uh, word auction is misspelled in the first line. In the CEDARAC Charter for signing, I don't have the CEDARAC Charter uh, anymore because I gave mine to Mike, to Mike Jones. But the second bullet, um, the terms of the residential member shall be two-year terms. My recollection was the point of my comment on that was that I thought it should be four-year terms like all the other terms. Um, on the fourth bullet, I would suggest it'll read a little bit better if, it, if the word publicly appears before the word post. On the third page, fourth paragraph, uh, the word surplus uh, in front of assignment needs a P. And on the fourth, fourth page, it looks like the first two paragraphs are redundant. You just need one of them. Good point. Okay. Except that the, yeah, that's it. Okay, any other corrections? If not, all those in favor of approving the minutes with corrections in the case of saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion passes. Um, citizens' comments and concerns, items not on the agenda. Is there anyone who wishes to address the board? No one there? Okay, we'll move on to appointment of a person to the DRV. I believe we have a letter of interest. Is there a motion? Make a motion we approve Laura Sargent to the DRB for the term of three year three year term. Is there a second? I'll second it. Any discussion? 
Yeah, I don't know. When does that start? When does their three-year term start and when is it end? We'll have to establish that tonight. Yeah. I would say effective immediately until June 30th, 2024. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Add that to the motion. Yeah. Perfect. Go. My question would be, um, I know we've been trying to maintain staggered terms among the appoint appointed members of the DRB, and I just didn't know where a three-year term for Laura fit. No, I don't have them. As I look at the last, uh, I don't think we packet from last month. The uh, appointments were on that one. I don't I go look at it. Could we, therefore, consider approving her so that it fits into staggered terms? Right. For a term up to three years, unless that would unbalance the staggered terms of the DRP. Okay. So go low, if it, if it, if it, set, if it causes a problem, go lower. Really For the two years, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. The, we had a motion, didn't we, in a second? No. Yeah. With the corrections? Just a Any? Sure. Good question. Do we have what's the um, status of the board right now? Is there a vacancy for a full-time member, or are we just looking at alternates? Oh yeah, we lost um, Bruce, so that was a, that that position would be filled. We can pick up anybody else. So I'm pretty sure there was a vacancy. Yeah, we already don't remember. So this would be Bruce's vacancy then. Yeah, because the board otherwise, would, I think, is good. How many members does that put on the board with her? Uh, they have five. There's three on Sand Hill plus Laura. Well, I just know. I mean, yes. I, you know, I'm talking. I mean, there's names wise. Like yeah, yeah. Dan, Bob, so Pat, yeah. Pat, Pat, yeah. and then Laura. Who else is? Uh, with, with Bruce's resignation, I'm not sure there is another. No, be four. That's four then. Oh, they only have four. Isn't it supposed to be an odd number, either three or five or seven? Or how does that work? I thought they always had. I think the preferred number would be five, right? Yeah. So, so we're still short one. We're short. We're, we, I know we we were talking earlier about you know advertising a position. Okay. okay. You're still a uh, um, alternate. Joe? Yes. So the floor was an alternate. So you're not included in four, right? Correct. Okay. And I believe yeah, there still is. Or has been ads that were placed seeking other applicants. Okay. okay. Uh, all those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Moving on to the ARPA board approval. Eligibility of funds. I believe we have the article here from the League of Cities and Towns. I believe all we have to do, as other towns have done, is to tell them, yes, we'd like the money. <laughs> you just have to authorize the town manager to do that, correct? Right. Yep. By the 15th of July. And you got three motions here based on this document from the PLCT, right? Yeah, and it's the... Let me see who's got a sign there. Um, whoever we designate based on motion number two, I got this right. So I'm going to move that the town of Castleton accept its allocation for coronavirus local fiscal recovery funding from the U.S. Treasury, along with the awards, along with the award terms and conditions and assurances of compliance with civil rights requirements that are requirements of accepting these funds. Second. Motion second. Any other discussion? Not all in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion passes. On to the manager's report. No, we're not going to move. Oh, you got another one. Okay. I'm going to make a motion that we appoint the town manager, Michael Jones, to serve as the town village city's authorized, as the town's authorized representative as required by the Coronas virus local fiscal recovery funding from the U.S. Treasury to sign the awards, terms, and conditions, and assurances of compliance with the civil rights requirements by July 15th, 2021. And a second. Second. Any discussion of this, Joe? According to this handout that we got in our packets, it says that the authorized representative 
needs to be the chair or other member of the governing body, which I would take to mean another select board member. And we'll say that. Okay. And then oh, the right. contact person. So Mike's going to be the, okay. So then I'm going to rescind that motion and make a motion that we appoint Jim Leamy for a chairman as the town's authorized representative as required by the yada yada yada. Second. Second. Motion to second. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 I'll recuse myself from that one. I, will, I move that we name Michael Jones, town manager, to be the contact person for the town's CLRFR award for the U.S. Treasury. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Got them all there? I think so. Okay, okay Mike. It's all you, buddy. Thank you for your diligence. Moving on to the manager's report. We all have copies of the manager's report. If anyone has any questions for Mike regarding the manager's report. Nick? Yes, sir. Any questions for Mike regarding the manager's report? No, we'll quit through it. It's pretty clear. We're okay. Bob? Uh, just a question on the transfer station. Do we have a... Uh, a working roustabout that goes from department to department to department. Do we have Christos? Christos. Yeah. Chris is already at the transfer station though. Yeah, he's the roustabout. He's the roustabout. So the, there's two positions at the transfer station. One's the the uh, operator and one's the roustabout. So okay. Chris does most of his time at the highway garage when he's okay. Those two days he's not. At, at you know what I was getting at. Or you knew where I was going with this, right? I, I don't really, but uh, what? <laughs> well. Obviously, Joe's got a he's got a haul on sometimes haul on the days that are open, and that leaves the one person there. And then the big paragraph here says it's okay to leave one person there. What well, my recommendation was to have the rouse bell go up there when Joe wasn't there. No, um, obviously, he's not to be running the backhoe when he's up there by himself. That that would be a no we talked about that not working on electrical or on the compactor, climbing a ladder, or anything that OSHA would come in and slap you for anyway. Okay, um, so. That's technical right now. He's been doing most of his time down at the highway garage. Okay. But Ed did have a conversation with Joe Rice uh, when I when I talked to Ed last week about if he needs Chris up there and there's a task that needs to get done, then don't just send him down to the garage. You know, say call me and let me know you need him up there for a certain task. So rather than say, well, it didn't get done because I had to send him down to the garage, and so. I, he is, uh, Ed just clarified with him saying, if you need him, just communicate with me and we can work it out. And the help, Bob? No. Okay. Mike? Yeah, on the same subject, as you know, I brought it up to you, but you say that it's all, it's okay to have one person work by himself, but the, did you look into the union contract to see if the union employee can work by himself? Because I know when we did it, you cannot do that. And as far as the safety aspect of it, this town, I cannot believe that we're going to let him work up there by himself, taking the chance that something could happen and he can't get to a phone. We're going to be held responsible for him because there's not somebody else there. I think at any time there's got to be two people there, regardless. You don't never know what's going to happen. He could walk out, fall, and nobody sees him, and he can't get up. And we're going to be responsible for that because nobody else is there with him. Um, and I just and we had the issue last Saturday or the Saturday, the Fourth of July Saturday. Chris was there by himself with that other kid, and that is really uncalled for and unnecessary. You have people coming in to get permits. The kid, the other kid cannot run the register, so Chris was trying to do that, do the scales and everything. You don't leave one person there by himself on a Saturday of all days, on a holiday, to work that train <coughs> station. I don't care who it is. Okay, but I'll, I'll, let me address them so I can. Um, as far as the last one goes, um, I, I spoke to our supervisor about that, and they left it as, if you need help, I'm only going to call away. Just call, I just live down the road, call me. So I talked to the operator about it, and he said, I just didn't call him. So he had an option to say, I'm, I'm up here, and I need help, and he didn't make the well, On the same token, he authorized the, the vacation, so he should have known if there's only going to be one person there on a Saturday, he should have put somebody there. Well, I asked him, I asked both of them, did anybody ask for help, and that no, knowing that someone was going to be there, and neither one of them did. Okay. Um, as far as the working alone stuff, um, we have people that operate graders by themselves and dump trucks, and so it, I, don't, I don't personally see as a as a as a problem unless there's, like I said, on a really busy day, obviously I agree that we should have 
uh, help up there. But as far as the day-to-day -day stuff, as long as we're staying away from dangerous activity, um, dangerous, what I mean by OSHA-compliant stuff, like playing electricity, playing around the compactor, or work at heavy equipment. But, but our, our highway crew was out and operates all this stuff by themselves on back roads. So if I take the same argument, it's, we just don't have the we just don't have the, the staff to always have two people. As far as the union contract goes, it says they can't have it when they're running chainsaws and stuff like that. They have to have two people, uh, but it's really limited. It's chainsaw and one other thing. Uh, so that, that if that answers the question about the contract, and I can send you a copy, Mike, if you want. Okay, Mike. Okay, Joe. All set. All set. I'm all set. I, I missed one thing. Here. Okay. Ah, okay. Can you can you touch on the, the permit thing, Mike? Um, which page? Um, no, it's uh, page six, the last page. Under public concerns? Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Um, I don't. Yeah, it hasn't been resolved. Um, this individual was given our both Chris and Joe a hard time up at the the transfer station itself about permits. Um, so how, it was explained to me by, by Joe that this person doesn't even live in Hubbard or Castleton. Um, so I called Hubbard in town office and talked to Don. I got the information of the vehicles and the names of who they were registered to. I had the police run the plate and they don't even live in Hubbard or Castleton, they live in Sudbury. Um, and that's, that's what the, our, our, our employees were saying is that they don't live in here in town, why are they getting a permit? So, um, I mean, my son lives in Clarendon. If, if he used my house as his address and got a permit, the, the waste is not generated in the town of Castle or, or the town of Hubbardton, so technically I would be scamming the town. So if they are trying to use the mother's address in Hubbardton, Barbara, I think is her name, if I remember correctly, um, then, and they don't live in Hubbardton, or Castleton, they're generating the trash from outside of that, then it goes against our policy. I, I, <laughs> it does go against our policy, I understand that, but we all know that out-of-town trash is coming into our transfer station on a regular basis, and we don't really throw a fit about that. And as far as we know, all the people live up around the lake, they come up for the weekend, how do you know they're not bringing their trash from Poughkeepsie or New York City or wherever else they are? I mean, to throw a fit over one person bringing a couple bags couple weeks out of here. I, I, I just don't see the purpose of Well, I'm not throwing, I just let you know, I'm not throwing a fit. No, no. They, I, they came to me saying this person was very rude to them. Yeah, that's not. And was uh, was screaming at him at the transfer station. That's not and, for. Um, so. I don't condone that. I just, I don't think we need to make a big issue over this one person. No, but the stick that she raised is why they were having this issue. She really got after them and screamed and almost threatened to punch John. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's BS. She doesn't even belong here. And it will just lead to more uh, investigation to find out they, they don't even live here. So, well, I was just going to say, I, you know, it, it, it may be one thing if people uh, behind our backs bring trash from their primary residence and dump it in Castleton. I'd be surprised about that. I would not want to drive up from Schenectady with my home trash. <laughs> but uh, when it comes to our attention that there's a, a, a person who is, who is trying to, uh, you know, violate our policies, I think we have to take a stand, either that or say, or take down the sign that says it has to be generated in the towns of Castleton or Hubbington. Okay. Any other questions for Mike? Thank you, Mike. We'll move on to the warrants. We have one warrant. The purchase order? The purchase order, I'm sorry. One purchase order. I'll make a motion we approve purchase order number 046971. To watch guard for two in-car in camera systems for $9,790, $8,223.60 of which is covered by a grant. Second. And the second. Any discussion? Just what two cars are they picking to choose if I go in? I just... We have we'll one two, That would be up to the chief. Yeah, well, probably the ones that the older cameras than I would assume. Yeah. Oh, they've already got cameras. This is just to replace them. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, my understanding is this one upgrade. Right? Okay. If not, all those in favor of approving this purchase order indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed. 
Now we move on to the warrants. Okay. Uh, make a motion we approve purchase order number 0712R for $39,654.61. More at 0630R for $41,666.67. More at 0712 for $98,298.45. More at 0708 for $25,543.51. Warrant 0701 for $6,469.81. Warrant 0708 for $20,449.27. And warrant 0701P for $18,496.81. And warrant 0701 p for 18496 Second. And a second. Discussion. If not, all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion passes. We'll make a motion to approve. Number 0709P for $716.16 and and number 0702P for $694.30. Second. And a second. I recuse myself. All those in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion passes. We make a motion. We uh, approve number 0711 for $94.08 and number 0710P for $273.36. Second. And a second. All those in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 I recuse myself on that one. I had a question. Um, Eliza, did you get the, the one for the purchase order you got, who made the motion and stuff? Thing. That's it. Just want to make sure. Yes, I did. Um, I have Dick made the motion and Joe seconded it. Okay, thank you. From you, Bobby? Yes. Mr. Chairman, anybody got them? Thank you. Anybody got my agenda? Messed in there somewhere. <laughs> I would sign it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can share this one. Somewhere. You can share this one. Oh, okay, great. That is mine, but I'll share Thank you. Appreciate that. It means a lot to you. It means a lot to you. We're right out of the agenda. Mr. Chairman, into the pile here. Mr. Chairman. There's no spot link in the end, but can I make a comment while you're still signing? Yeah, sure. This was um, left over from last meeting. Um, just to correct the record um, for the uh, gravel pit and the solar project, um, that during some meetings I, I made a statement saying that the uh, annual lease payment yep, that's would be $15,000 for 20 years, and that is inaccurate. It's actually $10,000 a year for 25 years. So I want to make sure that was corrected on the record. It's corrected. And I also owe some letters. I haven't finished them um, for the sailing program, for some donations, and for the bulldozer. I just, I forgot about them. Just got to get them fit in there. So just want to let the board know that. One question I have is how are we doing with the common area? Did that, the trailers get out of there now? No, they're getting, uh, I told Pete to have them pull me up there. Uh, well, I was up there with them on the uh, 4th of July, and I still, Go ahead and start call call R and D and have them start calling. So I've been off since Thursday, so I don't know what's been done yet. But I will follow up and let you know. Please. The hell's boat still up there? I wasn't there on on Fourth of July. Like, do we have to do anything on this? I can't see what it is, Jim. Um, community development and economic violation. Maybe we made changes. 
Are we supposed to do something on this? Uh, Karen had the, the changes on, if that's in your, your packet, yeah. then that may that maybe has the corrections. I don't know, I haven't been here to talk to her about it. But I gave her, after the last meeting, I gave her Joe's notes on, on that for correction. You have a copy of that? I don't have a copy of that. Thank you. Well, that, that, that I would assume if you have it in the packet, then it must have corrections. I don't know where I got it. If it doesn't have them, then I don't know where it came from. I would suggest that we let Joe review it. Yeah. If it's good, if it's good to go and has mm -hmm. the changes good he that. suggested, then we can wrap it up. Wrap it up next meeting? Yeah. Right. So uh, the, the, the minutes reflected the change that I was hoping to see. Uh, under membership, the terms of the residential member shall be two, two year, uh, and one, one year terms. I was hoping they would all be two year terms, which is what all the other board members have terms. Was that, was that on your notes, Joe? Uh, it, just, it, it was a just a verbal, a verbal at the time. Okay. I'll, I will go back to the well on that one. That one has a recording, so as long as it was recorded, we can. My note, I have notes as well, but I gave her yours. <laughs> well, we're also going to have big TV. We can make things like that. It was a valuable resource. And just, Mr. Chairman, next meeting, I know this one was a short one, but next one, just to let you know, we're going to need a sewer commissioner's meeting again for the budget, for the sewer budget. Okay. Uh, meet and also to set the tax rate because the test of 26 of July that only gives the front office folks uh, and Mary Jo a few days to okay. get that cranked out uh, and then there's a scope that scoping study for Staso Road there has to be a public meeting on that um, so it's gonna be and plus all the bids coming in so I just want to let you know that next meeting is going to be pretty pretty heavy with uh, agenda items Okay, that'll be the 26th. If that is on the 26th, is there anyone who would be interested in starting at 6.30? Sure. Uh, I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, problem. Bob, can you? Uh, no problem. No, no problem? 6.30 for the, for the select board or for the sewer commission? Sewer commission. And then the special meeting? 6.30 shot. 645, whatever. Okay. He's at 35, but I know where he's going to that. 653. What, what was the special meeting for? The special meeting for the scoping study? No, it can be part of the um, regular select board meeting. It just has to have a public uh, meeting. So it has to be an agenda item. Yeah, so it has to be an agenda item. Okay. They, they just sent me a message today asking if we could do it on the 26th. So why don't we warn the meeting for the select board meeting for 645 and the off chance the sewer meeting doesn't take very long and they don't have to wait till 7 to start the select board meeting. That's what, I, that's what I hope would happen. That makes sense, Mike? Sure. I mean, uh, it's the sewer budget, and with the, I don't know how much you're going to have for discussion on the sewer budget, but I will do what you ask, but I, I'm not sure how many questions will come out of the, the sewer budget, because you haven't seen it yet. If it goes over two minutes, we at least have a goal. We so, can't start the meeting, the select board meeting early, but we can start it late. So 645, right? Yeah, yeah. please. We got it. 6.30, 6.45. Uh, any uh, follow-up questions, comments? Seeing none, reason for an executive session, Mike? Oh, no. Could, oh, no. I need to skip right past those. Okay. Yeah. But, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 don't want, oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I just I wanted to look the other way. Um, ask if um, at some point we can discuss the ARPA process. I think that... Uh, I mean, at the very least, we need to have a discussion among ourselves as to what opportunities and priorities we would have for the $436,000. But I think uh, what I'm hearing and reading in the Rutland Herald is that many communities are, are doing that uh, either in a you know, special open meeting or you know, having some kind of community participation in the process. I think that would be desirable. Okay. That's it for me. That's it. Anything else? Yeah. Well, you can go first, Bob. Okay. <laughs> um, Mr. Holden, were you able to attend the Rutland County Solid Waste District no, meeting not. last Wednesday? You were not. Well, I don't believe they have one right now. They said they were off for a little while as well. 
What's his name? Tony? So they didn't have one last last week. I don't Wednesday? believe so. No. Okay. You said a couple three meetings ago that all a person had to do was go on the computer to get the financial numbers. Um, I assume you did that to get answer my eighty one full question. No, I did not. I did not have a chance to get on. If you can't get on the computer, can you get your district manager to do that? Or Mr. Yep. Gilbert? Yep. I thought I gave you the number one number that you that No, that's gave. not the number I'm looking for. I'm looking for the total district surcharges collected in twenty twenty. Total district. total district surcharges collected for the year twenty twenty. Perhaps prior to the next meeting, <coughs> perhaps um, you or Tim might be able to submit a report or a summary on what has been accomplished. Okay. At the, I'm sure if we have it in our packet, we can read it. Mr. Chairman, yep. hey, um, I read something here recently. Um, Tim is supposed to do a quarterly meeting to the select board. That's what board. I was looking for. Yeah. Ask the, actually, our district rep is supposed to do that, but whatever. <clears throat> Let me ask this question. Yeah. Um, yeah this Mike, as far as you know, <clears throat> have we been represented at, at every meeting of the Rutherford County yes, Soloway District? Yes, we have. Okay, thank you. I just got. I missed the last meeting, so I just want to know who. I assume all four of you, because that's what the minutes said. But who voted in favor of? Paving, Cory Lane, Eagles Nest, Woodard Way, North and South, and Woodard Way. That all four of you. Okay, I'm asking the question to all four of you. Then, on whose recommendation did we do to do that? The um, director of public works and the town manager. What were the reasons to, to pay those particular roads? Because I believe they would be ready for it without having to do additional work. And, and they're high. They're one of our. Those are our hard maintenance roads that have problems that we spend a lot of time grading and taking potholes out of. Actually, that was decided by the board. You may or may not have been there, Bob. I don't recall that on the uh, meeting we had on June seventh, and then the meeting on June twenty-first is when we actually awarded the contract. But deciding what contract was which and which road we were going to do was done in the meeting prior to that. Remember discussing that and making the decision to go with Corey Lane and Associated Roads. I was at those meetings. I don't recall prior it. meeting. I don't recall exactly which meeting. Does that sound reasonable? Anybody else remember that? Yeah, uh, that's what I recall. At the last meeting in June, we were all confused as because we got different prices and different measurements. So the next meeting that I missed, so it wasn't the last meeting, it was the first meeting in June. The next meeting that I missed, the last meeting in June. You guys decided then what roads you were going to do. I'm pretty sure of that. So the meeting prior to the board directed that chose the roads to get uh, the bids back on, and those were part of it. So that's why I went back out and we the read first that. meeting in June. Yeah. Okay. And we'll okay. Go back through the minutes and figure out which meeting that occurred in. Okay. Any other call follow up or just comments? just no. want to know when we're actually going to open up these meetings to the general public. I don't know. Well, according to the agenda, it's not really visible. They're right there. Now. Okay, well, it says you can join it by joining Zoom or by Zoom. That was to, I believe that was to make sure that some people, if they wanted to use that, could use Zoom. So. Okay. But that's why the chairs are in the back of the room. Okay. Any other? My oh, turn. My turn. Yeah. Select work comments. I don't do this work. Um, Two things. Um, thing one, has there been any resolution as to what's going to happen to the money, this, this, uh, all the DARPA funds that are going to Rutland County? Has that been resolved yet? Is that going to be divvied up among the towns, or is the county government that doesn't exist going to try to hang on to that? The last uh, stuff that was put out, by, the last word I got uh, put out by BLCT um, was that the Treasury Department has kind of overruled the, what the legislators and the LCT was saying and that uh, they're still going to send it to the counties. Even though Vermont d doesn't really have a county form of government, um, the Treasury Department 
um, said it's still going to go to the counties. Really? Yep. And when you say the Treasury Department, you're talking about the Vermont Department of well, Treasury? I believe it's the U.S. Department of Treasury. Um, it's, it was in a VLCT article. I'll, I'll, I can I'll forward it to you guys. Um, oh, that sounds crazy. Yeah, it was. Uh, it said that even though, even though that, that Vermont doesn't have a form of a county form of government, that the Department of Treasury <coughs> said that it would still go to the counties uh, for dissemination, a further dissemination. It's almost like the bridge to nowhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, but I met the uh, I, I met a side judge who was arguing that whole um, work for the county, obviously, and said, um, "Yeah, he, once you once it goes there, you never see all of it." <laughs> and that was a concern that it doesn't always after it goes through its washing machine cycle, and it, what was there originally doesn't all make it back to the municipalities, which was the spirit of yeah. what this was supposed to be about. Yeah. What is the VLCT position on it? The LCT and legislators were working, fighting to make sure it didn't go to the um, counties, that it went directly to the municipalities. I would hope that Senator Leahy could have some considerable influence over that process. There's also two or three other states, if my understanding is, that don't have any significant form for states. Or they said they don't have Rhode Island county governments. Yeah. So where do they send the money if we don't have a county government to send it? Well, it will go to the county, Rutland County, yeah. but. There is no county, which is not like New York, where there's a county legislature. Well, it's it's the it's the it, so they divvy it up by the population of each county. You'll find it down between the cushions of your couch. Uh, uh, the the yeah. sheriff's department and the county and the courts, maybe. I don't know. But it was it was still still supposed to have been sent, uh, using the same numbers, the uh, mm. census data, <coughs> to to disseminate it, and that doesn't seem to. I'm not sure if that's going to be true or not from reading that article, but I'll, I'll send you guys the articles here. I, I bring this up mainly to get it in the minutes and to make sure that our right. town population is aware that there's some other funding out there that may or may not wind up in Castleton, Brandon, Benson, Fairhaven, et cetera, where it belongs. May or may not. Elliot, that's in its entirety, I guess. My other, um, one more thing. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. One more yeah. thing. Um, the, the, um, I was unable to find the minutes for the DRV meeting on the um, venue in on Rice Willis Road, so I have no idea what the resolution of the DRB was on that entertainment venue on, on Rice Willis. So, um, can you make sure those minutes are available? Yeah. I'm not sure if you took those or not, but... I, I live on Rice Willis. About Cedar Meadows. Cedar Meadows, that was the... I don't diff. recall that. I don't June think I was at that I think the 14th one. was the date of the DRB meeting? I will, uh, Jonas was working on minutes, on those minutes. I believe it was those minutes. Is there anything you can there. tell me verbally about what was decided? I don't, I, I know that the question that going into the meeting was whether or not they had to reapply or they were going to honor that uh, old permit. Um, and I saw email traffic going back and forth, but I did not attend the meeting and I hadn't heard. So there was another event this past weekend, but it was right. nowhere near as loud. Right. Oh, so they're holding events on Rice Willis Road right oh, yeah. now? The first, the one that was a month or so ago was quite loud. And uh, let's say it was not necessarily family friendly, the language. I could hear understand the words clearly at my house. So they, they closed this one down, they shut down earlier this time. And um, and I talked to the neighbor who made the, one of the complaints and said it was certainly wasn't as loud as it was last time. And they shut down early. Uh, the, Instead of 11 o'clock, it was saying those they had to shut down at 10, they closed down. I heard it the other night, Saturday night, but it wasn't yeah. anywhere near as loud, and I could just barely hear that something was going on. Mike, it isn't it a fair question to ask Jonas if the DRB has made a decision? Mm -hmm. I think that's questionable as to whether they've made a decision. And if so, what it is? Yeah. And just a generic comment, uh, the last uh, DRB minutes posted on March 16th, um, I, and I think that the board should be aware of that there's several boards or commissions or committees that aren't posting minutes. Um, and I know that with the DRB and the planning commission, if decisions are made and no one can go back and find, the public can't find these, um, these decisions that we can get in a pretty good jam. Okay. So. 
Anything else? Like, I'm done. You're done. Yeah, I just asked a question about that. Um, do they hold them every Saturday night, or do they pick and I, choose? Or I've only heard of two, and I've only heard so far. I have no idea what their schedule is. There is. They have a summer schedule out there. I don't. I don't know if I'm. Okay. Frequency. Any, is, anything else, there? Bob? No. no. Mike. Joe. I'm all set. Thank you. I'm all set too. I will say that the, the, the back to the performance a month or so ago was pretty descriptive about adult activities that you wouldn't want your kids to hear about. And I could understand the words of my house. Hmm. Okay. I move the adjourn. Oh, I think we've got an executive session. Oh, excuse me. I'm personnel. If you wanted to adjourn, that's okay, Joe. <laughs> I'm just going to jump the gun. I'll let Joe do it. I won't fight that one, Joe. I was prepared to second that one. <laughs> I saw this one. I was going to, but I better okay. not. Okay. Is there a motion to go into executive session with the town manager at um, 747? For personnel? For personnel. Second. There, is there a motion? I'm so moved. Are you so moved? You second? Second. All those in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 We're in executive session.